Hello YouTubers. I got another product to try out for my FJR 1300. This is a Gen 1. This is a 2003 model. And with cold weather coming at us, I needed some kind of a wind deflector for the hands because the windshield doesn't quite get the get the wind out of the way and the mirrors don't block quite enough. And instead of going to heavier gloves, I thought I would try these little gems from eBay. And put these back here. These are uh, smoke translucent. They make them in clear black. They look like bunny ears. But these come with brackets and hardware. You're seeing it as I'm unboxing it. And they're designed to go on the mirror mounts that on this bike are not used. They're just plugged. I've got one plug out here. So all I need is a bolt to hold it on. They're supposed to bolt on. The bracket comes out here and the hand guard sits out here. And I have to make sure that it doesn't hit the windshield even when the windshield's all the way to the lowest position with this electric adjustable windshield. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. And I've got one more. I've got a waterproof case and a flexible mount for my GPS that I want to mount also on that same location. So we're going to see if all that works together and uh, let me go ahead and fit it up and come right back. All right, here's what's included in the box. It's got the two bunny ears. They don't appear to be left or right. Doesn't seem to matter which way you put them. But the brackets are left and right. And it comes with this hardware. And looks like two different length extension brackets. So you could extend them or bend them however you need to. It's a pretty universal kit. So I'm going to get this unwrapped and go a little further. Just one quick note. I've looked at the hardware. It comes with O-rings. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I thought maybe they need to be in between. But now I see there's about eight of them. I'm going to put one under the head of each screw. On one on each side of the plastic, and then the bracket, and then the acorn nut. So I think that plastic needs to float on that bracket so it doesn't break. And the rest of it's for either extensions or it looks like just bolts for the mirror mirror mounts. All right, a couple of disappointments so far. With the bars turned, I got them turned to the right. I need this thing to locate right about about here to work well. That means I'm going to need a bar going from that mirror mount over there where you see that threaded boss over to this hole in the bracket. And that gets me tucked into the windshield pretty close, but I'm not at full lock. Got a little bit more to go. That may not be a problem because with the windshield up, Turn it on with the windshield up just a little bit. It wouldn't be a problem at all if I can get that in there. Where if I need to turn full lock, the thing will hit the windshield. But chances are I'm not going to have the windshield all the way down when I'm riding in cool weather. I don't know. It might be worth pursuing. The other bummer is that these bolts that came with it are eight millimeter and I need 10 millimeter to go in my mirror mount so I'm on my own for for some hardware I'm gonna have to get something to to bolt up these extensions figure out what I need get some bolts that'll take the place of these plugs because I don't have any mirrors to hold them down I guess they're counting on you having mirrors take the mirrors off put the bracket put the mirror back on so I'll get some hardware and I'll be back Okay, well, I feel like a bit of a dunce. It's not two sets of brackets. These plates, I went, oh, how are they going to work with these small holes? And I realized that they're made to go on the front. So it's the screw head, a plate, an O-ring, an O-ring, then the bracket, then the acorn nut. 
and you can just snug up on that. Maybe I'll probably put a little Loctite on there, and that way the plastic isn't getting pressed directly against the metal. So it's pretty well thought out in that regard. I just wish I uh, wish I had some more hardware that would get it done. And these brackets look awfully short. Don't know if that's going to make it or not. But we'll find out. We'll get some hardware and we'll get her on there. Well, here they are mounted and actually tested. I've ridden the bike with them. You can see the uh, the bulb of the lever is actually right up against it. It comes to rest lightly there. That's where I needed to position it for maximum clearance against my windshield. Well, my windshield is all the way down because it will kind of get up into it with it all the way down now with it raised with the windshield raised is not a problem at all I can go full lock and the, the guards don't hit at all I rode it on one cool morning so far and it really kept the wind off of my knuckles I'm really happy with these except that you know on the FJR Gen 1 with the extra spacers in the windshield down here to make it lean back further it does affect uh, that it, it ends up hitting depends on which windshield you have and I'll probably just leave them on for the cold months to deflect but I'm happy with them they're easy enough to take off they just mount to the uh, the mount to the mirror mount and what I did there was I had to buy adapters. These are 10 millimeter right and left to 10 millimeter right hand. This one's right hand thread. The one on the right hand side is left hand thread. That's so that if the mirror gets hit and swung back, it can unthread itself and not tighten and break. Which is why it's left handed thread on the right side and right handed thread on the left side so if you've got nothing you've got these little caps you take the little caps out you put the adapter in use it as a bolt and you can put your cap in the top my cap fit loosely for some reason I didn't want to fit snug anymore so I just threw them in my tank bag and to take them off I just take these out and store them away somewhere either probably just screw those back down in so I don't lose them and take them off for the summer or whatever but there you have it. There's the uh, the smoke gray. They're available in black. Probably some other colors. I don't know. But they're uh, they're cheap and they're pretty well made. Good hardware. Good coating on them. They're rigid when they're mounted and they work well. So another option for cool weather. Thanks for watching.